Hey guys, we are here at the Crawford County Forest Preserve outside of Robinson, Illinois, and we're here to do some geocaching today. It's also our anniversary. I'm a little cold. <laughs> There's four geocaches here, and I bet we can find all of them. What does it say about it? Uh, the last time it was found was on 311. So it's been a little over a month, but still here this year. So that's good. That's not bad. Let you guys see what we're seeing. We're about 0.5 miles away when we started. Um, this is basically, it's really kind of a nice place. Just a big trail. We've got a body of water over there. Might have to go check out that dock in a minute, but there's a raccoon on that sign over there. Raccoon has gray fur with words. Well, I'd be happy with just finding some geos and then, uh, you know, going and getting back in the car. <laughs> oh no, here comes a muggle. Back natural. Hi. But she had headphones in. She didn't suspect a thing. Three generations of turtles. All right, let's watch the turtles. Oh, there went the little one. Big one was last. He tried to hold out. <laughs> Does it say anything about this geocache? Placed with permission. Oh, well, that's good. It's a 1.5 difficulty, 2.0 terrain, and it's a regular size. Okay. Hi, buddy. Oh, it's a deer. Hi. Hey, little guy. Oh, there's another one. More to hey. The right. Hey, what are you doing? You want to be friends? Yes. Mm -hmm. We could be friends. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go find some geos now. Oh. My knee cracked. <laughs> I never even would have noticed it if you didn't notice it. They still had spots, so they were pretty young. Oh, there's a house back here or something. Yeah, some sort of built structure, some sort of built structure. It looks like they raised some sort of animals back there. How far away? Point two. Point two. Since you didn't realize how far five miles, point five miles was. Squirrel, one of my favorite parts about like geocaching and filming it is kind of like talking through what our thought process is while we're looking for it have down here. wow guys this place is awesome if you'd be interested in an outdoor adventure um crawford county forest preserve we've been to so many of these places saw so much cool stuff hey baby we should be keeping an eye out for mushrooms it's mushroom season i'm hungry for them i want some <laughs> wow she lapped us that girl's fast the problem is, is we have to get to the other side of this water Oh, we do? Yeah, the, it's over there. Across the water. Well, maybe there'll be a trail. I hope so. <laughs> we didn't bring our kayak. This one's called the Bald Eagle Cache. Oh, I just had a bug get on me. Oh, my God. <sighs> that was scary. Bald Eagle Cache. I wonder if it's... Maybe there's a nest of bald eagles here. Could be anything when it comes to geocaching. You never know what you're gonna find. Yeah, I always get confused if they're called May apples or May flowers, but um, I think it's May. I think it's May apples, but they're not apples, so that's just strange. We are approaching our first geocache. How far? Point one mile. Point one. We're coming up on it. Cut around the water because we didn't break the kayak. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, look at this. So, this is like a dam in between. Well, I guess there's a body of water there, and then I'm guessing it drops on the other side. We actually have to go across this. Treacherous. Going off road today. Oh, there's a trail down there. That's what it is. Yeah, so, is this. There, yeah, is this far enough? Yeah, I mean, we just have to get over there. Okay. Wow, this would be a good catfishing spot. Now that I've kind of got my body moving, I'm feeling a little better, a little bit better about it. Bigfoot, I thought you'd be a little bigger, buddy. 337. Crap, we gotta cross this creek. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, hey, did you bring your geosenses? Oh, but I misplaced them a little bit. Let's see if there's still one. Okay, yeah, there is. We'll just Yep, no sense in walking all the way around. Let's see. We gotta be getting close now. Something's really tingling. I'm so excited. I didn't know it was gonna turn into this today. <laughs> we just thought it was gonna be a regular nature journey, and then you pull up the app and boom! Boom! Four unfound geocaches. <laughs> Officially. 
68 feet away. Okay. So I'm gonna pause. 68 feet away. This is the map. All right, so it looks like I'm pointed at it right now. Directly at it. Okay, so here's my thing is, I know I've been out of the geo game for a little while, but that tree right there, where the bark is coming off and the middle is kind of exposed. Yes. That's probably going to be my guess on where it is. Well, yeah, I see a gap where the bark is uh, lifting yeah. off of there. So I say we go check that out for I sure. I think this wraps around, so I may walk around to see if I, there's less that I have to, like, pull it through. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And kind of get a look at the tree from this side. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh wait a minute. I think I see it. No way. I you think I see it. it. I think I actually see it. Okay. Do you see over there where those two trees split? I see a white... Oh. Something white. Let's see. Let's see if this is really it. Dude, spotted it from across the forest. Oh my gosh. What? Oh. Boy. Heroes in a half shell. Because <laughs> it's a half shell. <laughs> It's got a broken shell. It's a half shell. Gosh, look, here it is. There we are. That is a regular oh. size geocache book. That looks like a large to me, but. Yeah, I would more classify that as large for sure, but. Let's see what's in here. Okay, I see a bag. That's just the log. Looks yeah. like. Oh, good. There's a pencil inside because I didn't bring one. Yeah, I didn't really. I didn't know it was going to turn into this, so I didn't bring really anything. But there's all kinds of little toys in here. This is it's definitely a, golf a good ball. Um, family cache because of all the little goodies that can toy. be put inside of it for children. Yeah, a lot of room. We're not taking room. any because we don't have anything to replace. Oh, look. If you're going to dig, you need to call this first. Okay, good. Good to know. <laughs> hey, right. pretty good one. Pretty good one for the first one. We got three more. Oh, look at you. I'm so glad they did leave a pencil. All right, we're gonna see about finding these other ones. All right, so we are putting it back, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a couple of the bark that's laying down just kind of over top of it. I'm gonna come to this side so that I don't see your Bob Ross underwear. That shouldn't have been so easy. I think somebody didn't put it back. Yeah, it looks like somebody didn't bury it. So this is what we did. This way, it's not just sticking right out in the naked eye. So we're kind of hiding it. Same, same location. Did not change location. I want to reiterate that because you're not supposed to change the location because then the GPS coordinates are off. But now it's buried under bark. Yeah. Which will hide it better. It's Good not going to stick out across the forest now. Yes. GG's. Yes. Let's <laughs> find some more. All right. Geocache number two. This next one is called Forest Preserve Series 3 Sasquatch Edition. All right. So this one is a 1.5 difficulty, a 2.0 terrain, and um, looks like it was last found on 326. Oh, that was placed. Found on 3624. So Okay. And it looks like we are 0.2 miles away from it right now. So we're gonna see if we can find this bad boy. It's funny that it's called Sasquatch, because aren't you like a big <laughs> you you want to believe so bad that Sasquatch and Bigfoot are real? Here's the thing, yes. Like and I feel like I probably um and too easy to jump and say it's real anytime there's any sort of evidence found because I want to believe it. Who doesn't want to believe that there's a Bigfoot? I mean, it's so interesting. I mean, who knows if it's part of like our ancestors? Is it a new species altogether? Is it a monkey? Is it a half monkey, half human? Who really knows? But I want to believe in Sasquatch so bad. And I'm hoping <laughs> the answer is inside this geocache. You never know. Maybe everyone has just been geocaching all the time. <laughs> the answer to this mystery is inside of it, so we're going to find out together. Go Which cut. direction do we need to go? So, right now we're heading directly towards it. It says it's 0.2 miles away. Is it on the other side of the water? It's on the other side of the lake, so we need okay. to cross. It feels good to be back in the saddle, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And I accidentally shut the camera off earlier, but she was saying earlier, I think that was our 231st career find. Yes. Maybe, so this will be 232 when we find it. So... Definitely been in the game a while and it feels good to be back. There's that frog, baby. Oh yeah, there's the froggy. Oh, look, 
We're being watched. He is oh. real. A lot smaller than I anticipated. <laughs> there was one time we were at uh, Cataract Falls in Cloverdale. Is that where it is? Yes, right outside of there. Right outside of Cloverdale, Indiana. And there were people with like potato sacks hunting for mushrooms. And they weren't having much luck at that point in time. And we're just walking to enjoy, enjoy the nature part of it. We weren't even hunting. Walking down the main road where the cars drive. There was one just right on the side of the road. <laughs> I think we ended up finding two and they walked past us all jealous and we're like, <laughs> sorry, we just, we didn't mean to. We weren't even looking. Just got it like that. I don't know. <laughs> okay. This, this terrain is definitely not a 2.0 uphill. Oh, glasses on the ground. Come on, people pick your damn trash up. Sorry. Okay, right now I'm pointed towards it and it's 0.1 mile away. So shouldn't we, we need to get back up there. I don't know if it's actually a trail, but it's a good spot. Really? Sometimes you have to go off the beaten path a little bit, you know? 502 feet that way. All right. So, coming up on it, I'm going to start to kind of open up my geosenses. Just looking out here ahead. Right now it says 490 feet. So, feel You want to just cut through? Yeah, let's just cut through. Okay, you lead the way. So now, we are 380. Hey. Pointing straight ahead, and I'm seeing those down trees up there as well as that concrete pile. Okay. So that's exactly where I'm heading. Okay. You said how far away? Seems very unnatural. I'm 326 right now, so maybe that's not. See, there's a path right there. All right, yeah. Let's take that. That looks like there's a cut through. See, according to this, it's over this way. 213 feet, right, right up on it. Which direction? This says 192 this way. To me, though, this all looks so unnatural. I'm wondering if it's not off a little bit. Let's just get right up where the yes. GPS says and then we'll go from there. Okay. So we need to find an easy way down. Is yeah, it this way. this way? The GPS is bouncing around everywhere. Sometimes you get into these areas and the GPS starts to bounce. I tell you what, if I was a geocache hider though, there is a tree down there. You see the base of it? Yes, split it all out. No, I'm talking about one right directly in front of me. Oh yeah, I see it. All right, so are we still going straight towards yes, it? 163 it says, but I kind of feel like anywhere in this area could be. That would be a good spot too with that downed. Dude, that'd be a great spot down there. It's hollowed out. You could hide one right inside. Oop. Now it's saying 130. 126, so we're like right up on top of it. And it's this way? Yep, according to this thing. 102. I'm thinking. 89. See some down logs over there. Down logs over here. 70. It's gotta okay. be down by one of these down logs. Yeah, that big pile of down logs right there looks really promising. 48 feet. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be right here in these logs. Guaranteed. These, I don't feel like these are mo very far off of the path either, so. Yeah, that's a good point. And they're gonna try to avoid any foliage that has um, thorns on it. I'm coming to this side. It's thorny. I'm gonna go around. I gotta go around. There's a bunch of thorns. Where, how, what's the GPS look like? 10 feet. From you? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming over there. Well, this is all grown over with thorns, so I don't think it's gonna be most in this area because they try to avoid planting them or hiding them near thorns. I found a couple spots where I feel like it would be, especially right here. There's six. Um, up, but it's not. I'm just totally missing it. Which could be possible. I'm not sure what size hey, I found it. What? Hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh. Dude. 
That's a good hide because that makes you think it's over there. <laughs> sure. Here we are, geocache number two, guys. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got a bag again. Probably got the log in it. Yep. Oh. It doesn't look like there's a pencil in it though, so. No, we'll just have to log this on our app. Yeah. A couple of toys there. Oh, there is a pencil, but it's kind of wet. That's okay. We don't have to, we'll just log it on the phone. Little Dino. animals. Little dinosaurs. Definitely yeah. another family cache. I think That's... when you put it back, put it underneath a little bit, kind of sitting up yeah. underneath that log. Oh, this zipper's broken. That's why. Yeah, it was also tipped on its side. There we go. Put it up under in there. Up under there? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Like, got another one. Another one bites the dust. You'll find these other two. Yes. <laughs> Our friends are back. Oh, the birdhouse fell. I guess they're not back. We just went this way and that's where they were. Gosh, there's so many trails here. Just every direction. Every direction. A lot of places somebody could hide a geocache in here, but they haven't hit them all from us yet. So this next one is Forest Preserve Series number one. We did them a little out of order, but it was just the way we saw them on the map. We, yeah. Anyways, this one's called Creek Overlook. It's a 2.0 difficulty, hmm. 2.5 terrain and as a regular size. Also placed with permission, and the last time it was found was 419 of 2023. Yesterday. Of 2023. Wait, what? This one hasn't been found in a year. Oh, okay. Over a year, officially over a year. So it's either not there anymore or we're just better. <laughs> you got this. No, I don't. No, I don't. You want me to give you a push? Oh. <laughs> this almost looks like it might be a bike trip. Yeah, it really does, especially with this. <laughs> I can't believe so it's not been found in a year and a day. Holy cow. All those turtles over there. Jeez. It's crazy the stuff you can see outside. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's another one of those. Maybe it's the same one, but there's another one of those birdhouses over there. We are rocking and rolling. Wow, what a beautiful place this is. Highly recommend, definitely highly recommend. Good that shot. one's basically like on top of its buddy. Wow. They're all just hanging out. All right, I'm gonna interrupt these guys' sun bath, but it's funny, I know I shouldn't pester the wildlife, but they're just gonna get right back up there when I'm done. That's true. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, there they go. There they go. They said no to the photos. I wonder what happened to that tree. Probably got hit by lightning. That's crazy. Nature's so metal. Okay. That right there is called a crick. No, it's called a creek. It's Everybody knows crick. that. Creek. Crick. Creek. Crick. How are they gonna let us know in the comments when it's spelled the same way? Because they could either say Kelly was right or Phil was right. Oh, okay. So comment down below and tell us who said it right. Crick or whatever he said. If you think she's right, comment Kelly C R I K Crick. <laughs> because we gotta go that way. Okay. Alright, let's go. Okay, so based off of this, it is across the the prairie area here really we probably need to take that trail because i bet there's snakes in there i'll throw you down in front of a snake before i die <laughs> done it before <laughs> what do you guys think this is that's a crow that hole isn't it i don't know i always thought it was a hornet nest oh my god are you crazy i'm gonna let them know you're the one who did this all right so hopefully this trail goes around the prairie that's what i'm hoping Otherwise, I think we took a wrong turn back at Albuquerque. This must be in, have been like an old bathroom or something. Oh, I bet it was, yeah. They are right here, guys, right on top of us. Need water? You want some wawa? We're not going to hurt you, but we're going to so, walk gingerly that way. We're going to walk super slow. You guys want to walk down the path with us? You ever heard of geocaching? See you later, guys. No, I was going to say, I don't know if I'd put this place on the same level as Douglas Hart Nature Center. 
out there by Mattoon and Charleston. That one was very good yeah. for a nature center. But this one's up there, and if you're ever in this area, it's definitely worth it. Okay, so it says 53 feet, 46 feet directly in front of me. All right. So, All right, so we're getting close. We, just went off. we are within 20 feet of this geocache. All right, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, here's this. What about this limb over here? Well, it states that it's over here, right in here, is it should be. I bet it was, if it was here. I bet the GPS is off. You think so? That would have been a perfect spot to hide in. That would be. I'm seeing, I really think maybe over here. Well. That's fine. I just think in these hills, it's possible that the GPS is way off. So I'm kind of... What did it say? Tricky but fun. And it looks like it had went unfound, but it was verified in February of last year. It was about 40 feet off. Okay. So let's get to where we think. So is this zero right here? Yeah, this is ground zero. Basically. 40 feet a long way, yeah. so. Hmm. Where is this is where your geo senses come in handy. I kind of think those trees up there look kind of suspect. Hey, let's go, let's see how far 40 feet is. Is like right here 40 feet? Um, this is about 31. Okay, so right about here would be 40 feet then. I doubt it's down. If it was down, it probably would have gotten taken away if it flooded. Yeah. So it's probably more on level ground. I think I do kind of want to look down here, though. All right. I just think down in here is somewhere where you could stick one. Yeah, down in here just looks like a spot for a geo. I don't know why. I found it! Yes! Sorry guys, I got a little excited, but right there it is. Hasn't been found in over a year. And, oh boy, this thing is about to fall apart. I don't know if I can get down there. I think I'm gonna have to jump. I'm gonna have to jump. There's no easier way to get down there? Um, maybe, well, that's pretty steep over there. This tree is falling apart that it's under, but. Let me see if this is a little bit more sturdy. Okay, all right. Ah! Well, guys, I ate shit, but here it is. Okay? Yes, I'm fine. Can you come down here so I can set it here and you don't have to come down here like where I ate shit, but. All right, so I have to film from way up here after he just ate shit. I'm in like knockoff Crocs and I'm not gonna try to go down this steep hill, so. That's fine. You're gonna have to talk a little loud. Here it is. We found it. First geocache find in over a year for this particular geocache. Got some toys in there. Got a log. We're probably just gonna log it on our app. This stuff's a little wet, but the important thing is we did find it. Yes, and the coordinates were off. Should we put it where the coordinates are or leave it here? Uh, we should leave it where it was so that the owner can check on it. There's probably an easier way to get down there than what he took, but... Woo! I'm so excited. I hadn't been found in over a year, dude. I just had a hunch that it was down there. Woo! That's what it's all about right there. Woo! I'm okay, guys, I promise, but I gotta say, finding one that hadn't been found in over a year, dude, that's what it's all about. That one, it wasn't really that hard of a hide. It's just that the coordinates were off. So that's what made it difficult. But and sometimes that does happen. So you always, it, 
after you look for a while, if you're starting to feel defeated, always check the logs of the people who found it previously. They hide any photos, so it hides that. Um, but they, they kind of give you small hints and they'll let you know if the coordinates are off any. And then that way you kind of have a better idea. Like that one, the owner itself said it's about 40 feet off. So we're like, okay, we know there's a 40 feet radius in every direction that we can check. And he, his geosenses were on it. We just, you kind of go, the app will tell you how far away you are. So we went out to about 40 feet away from where the cent center was and then just kind of look in a circle. It could be anywhere in there. And I just had a feeling about that spot. Yeah. So yeah, then he almost died. <laughs> anyway, we only got one more. So stick with us. Yes, I can go ahead and jump into it. I've got it up. Let's do it. What you got? So it's called, uh, it's number four in the series called Isle of Trees. So 1.5 difficulty, 2.0 terrain, and regular size. We're going to be looking for the same exact container, which is fine. We do kind of wish they would switch it up a little bit, but hey, we're still having fun finding it. <laughs> so it was last found on the 6th of March as well this year. So it's been found recently. All right, let's go get it. Let's get it. Here we go. Off to our next one, guys. This has been a productive day. I'm so excited Bye. that we found all three. And looking to find a fourth one here. This is a nice park. I know I've said it a hundred times, but I definitely highly recommend it if you're into this kind of thing. A little bummed we haven't found any mushrooms yet, but you know, it is what it is. Boy, that would be a good spot for one. Look down in there, I don't know if you can tell, but it's hollowed out. It's too bad there's a bunch of thorn bushes around it. But How far away are we? Uh, we're 0.2 miles. 0.2 miles okay. to the last one. We this one snuck up on us guys, 503 feet. Coming up on our final one of this adventure. All right, so where is this one in relationship to this field here? Um, okay, so you see how this, this prairie land kind of goes, curves back, and then there's that row of trees right in the middle? Yeah. It's in those trees. trees. That's probably why it's called the Isle of Trees. I wonder if there is a path, path to get there. Oh, muggles. Over there unsuspecting they don't know there's some serious geocaching going on over here i feel like i see a path over there oh perfect it's a grass path but a path nonetheless just watch out for snakes would be my best advice well they couldn't make the last one easy and i'm okay with it after finding that year old one i feel like we can do anything i feel like we're gonna find them all guys <laughs> and we are we're the vices that's what we do now, we'll have to see if there's an entrance to get in and see where it is in relationship to the geocache. So right now, it's showing that we are 59 feet, 56 feet, and it's right smack dab in the center of this little area. Okay, so I'm seeing a little area here where somebody went in. I bet it's by that tree. I bet it is My too. My are tangling hard. And then... Yep, let's go see. See if you guys can spot it before us. Makes it a little tough with all these vines on the ground. See what we've got. I don't see anything yet. I'm trying to look underneath all these vines. Wow, nothing on this tree, huh? Man, they could have it. it looks like it's further in. They could have it tucked away pretty much anywhere in here. Okay, what does your thing say? Uh, right now it says I'm right on top of it. Okay, so we must be right on top of it. I see a fallen down log over here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is where I'm looking. I feel like it could be right in here. Okay, now I see some sticks that look unnaturally stacked right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm gonna go take a look at that. Just make sure that that's not a thing. Nope, I'm not seeing a geo in there, guys. Hmm. Gosh, so this one was just found. And this one is the one giving us sets. Now I do see some, now these trees over here, that looks like a nice thick area to set. One of those containers that they're using. Um, so let's see. Oh, the vine got my foot. Yeah, dude, I don't see anything in here. 
We're not gonna be skunked on the last geo of the day though, I'm telling you that. Hmm. This is some thick brush right in here, guys. Those kind of look unnaturally stacked, but, hmm, no, I don't see it in there. It has to be in here, guys. It has to be. Well, remember the last one, the GPS coordinates were about 40 feet off. So really this could be anywhere in this batch of trees. I'm looking all along here along these logs not seeing anything down in there would be a good spot for it i don't see anything there either once we walk through these woods if we don't find it what we'll do is probably regroup and then think okay are we looking for the wrong type of container is this container going to be the same as the other three you would imagine it would because it's been hid by the same person but that's not always the case. Sometimes they do mix them up. I've seen some that were fake bark on a tree before. I've seen some that were um, fake mushrooms planted in the ground. I mean, people get creative with these things, guys. They really do. People get creative. Now these look unnaturally stacked, guys, so I'm gonna look under here. Yeah, I'm not seeing nothing. Not seeing a thing. Um, I'm gonna keep looking though. Never say die. That's what I always say. Never say die. Hmm. Boy. I am really, really stumped, guys. This doesn't happen very often, but I do not see it anywhere. I do not see it anywhere. And this up in here would be a good spot for it, even. If you look down there, that'd be a primo spot for it. Let's go see if Kelly has had any luck. See if maybe we're overthinking this, guys. Maybe we're just overthinking it. Actually, I'm gonna go this way too because I don't think she's been over here looking yet. Hey guys, so she's been all the way over here to the edge. And she hasn't found anything yet either. I do see a fallen down log over there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm gonna head over that direction. I don't think she's been that far just yet. I think it's fairly apparent at this point the GPS coordinates must be off unless we just missed it. So really anything is on the table at this point. Oh, Kelly found it. And hey, she just saved you from a serious fill rant, so you should be thankful. I was gonna break out the book of geocaching on you guys. Dang, right back where we were. Well, I said either this is a very advanced hide or we just missed it, and it looks like it was the second one. Okay, so I checked the activity. There was nothing in there that stated that the, the, the coordinates were off. But it said I was 27 feet away in this direction. There's been a lot of people that have been able to find it. And this one should be an easy find. It's great for kids. So it's going to be hidden, but not too hidden. I don't know why he's way back there. He's got to be right here in this little area. My geo sensors are telling me that it's closer to up here. Found it! Don't move it yet. folks. Hehehe. <laughs> Told you it wasn't that far from the edge. Dang. Okay, here it is. Last one. Let's see what we got, guys. It's a little wet. Just a pencil and a log. Oh, the pencil sticking out of it. That's probably yeah, why everything got wet. It's a little wet in there. There's some pencils. There's a bracelet. Another golf ball. Rocket ship. <laughs> Pretty good one. We're just going to log that one online too since it's wet. Probably make a little note for the owner that it's wet so maybe they can come out and replace some of the stuff. But overall, very good hide. Very good geocache. Let's try to stick it up under the weeds like it was. There we go. Very good. Very good. This one yeah. would be a super easy find if you were out here like in the fall time when all the foliage was dying. Coming out and doing this one during 
when everything is starting to grow, it makes it a little bit more difficult because yep, lots, lots of brush to weed whack, but fall slash winter time would be a good, good opportunity if you don't want to have to weed whack to get back in there. That was a good one. Yeah. I told them you saved me, saved them from a huge fill ran about where it could possibly be. They still got a pretty good one, but. <laughs> well, all I have to say is that was a successful day here at uh, this place. This is, um, oh crap. What is it? Cumberland, not Cumberland County. It's Craw. You know what? We'll check the sign on our way out. <laughs> uh, just when we thought the adventure was over, asphalt ends. Rough road ahead. Oh no. Oh no. Rough road ahead. Okay, oh. so here's asphalt. Let's get to this rough road. Are you ready? Yes. Oh! oh. <laughs> My shoe came unsnapped. <laughs> also, four for four. Try and get us a photo we can't find. Dare ya. <laughs> We have been stumped. We have been stumped for sure. Stumped recently, actually, on an unreleased video coming soon. We needed a break and, you know, sometimes that happens. You just kind of need a mental break and that's what we took and we're back at it. Schools. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, so so a, oh, look, there's a bench. Yeah. Whee! That always leads to the tie goal. This road is so rough. <laughs> That was scary. Either that or I pulled my big toe muscle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we made it back. It was a little dicey at first. Did you just trip? Yes. Another adventure in the books. Crawford County Forest Preserve conquered. And peace out. <laughs>